Hi guys, I wanted to start my video out first sharing some mail I got from Cheryl. Um, she's a fellow Michigander and she sent me a nice card and this photo of her dog, Gracie. I love the winter scene. And um, she also sent me, oh I'm so excited you guys for this, I've been wanting to read this book. Um, if you follow Tom on his Facebook page following Atticus, um, you'll know who I'm talking about, <laughs> but I can't wait. I probably cry reading this, but every time Tom would share the will lullabies, oh my goodness, ball my eyes out. So I can't wait to read this Cheryl. And then she sent me some yummy chocolates. Yes. I already been into them. It's open. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. And that was so nice. You wrapped them too. I felt like it was my birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. Now to get into the video of why, and you'll know why I wanted to share this first because I knew I'd forget after the day we've had with Magnum. So let's get into it. Hey guys, just got back from the vet with Magnum and Max and they had to get their booster shot for the Lyme vaccination. But look, I wanted to try to give you guys a visualization of how big I was going to have him stand by Miggy. Magnum, come here. Come here. Come here. Come sit by Miggy. Come here. Come here. You want to come here? No. He's like, what are you going to do to me? I already got shots. I don't want nothing else done to me. Come here, come stand by one of your brothers. Here, we'll put him by Marley. Marley may stand still. Stay there, Marley. Stay there. Stay there. Okay, sit down. Okay, you sit down too. Come here, come here, come here, <laughs> sit down, stay, okay, there. Magnum, there, he'll be four months tomorrow. He's born April 15th, tomorrow's August 15th. Thank you, Marley, thank you for sitting there nice, thank you. So, they got their boosters and then the other three have to go for their boosters. Uh, 21st, so it's expensive, let me tell you people, <laughs> $35 each shot. My husband thought it was 35 for the shot and the booster. No, it's 35 for the shot and 35 for the booster. So time zap by 10, cause they're all getting two shots. How much is that? 300, 300 some dollars. I'll have to do the math and put it right here. Um, but it's worth it. Keep them safe so they don't get sick. So, anyways, I wanted to, let me sit down over here. Sorry about that. Came in because the neighbors started mowing. <laughs> I didn't think you guys would want to hear a lawnmower in the background. So, what I was going to say when I was about to sit on my swing was, I was wondering if you guys can give me some suggestions in the comments below of other YouTube channels that you guys may watch that are kind of like mine. Um, it don't have to be schnauzers. It could be any kind of dogs. Um, I'm having a hard time finding any and maybe I'm just searching wrong um, looking for some but if you guys have any suggestions um, of any other channels I'm looking for more like smaller channels not ones that are so um, I don't want to say this to seem like it's a bad thing, but ones that aren't like so commercial, I guess. <laughs> and I know, and I'm not putting anyone down. I know a lot of people, YouTube is their business and they make money that way. Um, but I'm looking for something maybe more, uh, a smaller channel that's not so commercial, I guess. So let me know in the comments below. I'm about to put the dogs in their crate and I wanted to show you guys how good Magnum's doing about getting in his crate. Um, before, when I first was training him, he would constantly jump around trying to get the other dog's treats as I was putting them in their house. So let me set up my camera on the tripod and show you how good he's doing. Okay. Get their treats. They should come running. Okay. Come on, Max and Mozzie. Good boy. Putting Maximazzi. Now usually before when I was putting Maximazzi away over here, which you can't see me, he'd be over here jumping around trying to get in my hand. Um, get in your house, Mac or Miggy. 
uh, trying to get the treat out of my hand. But now he waits right by his house. No, Mickey, that's not your house. And he waits for me to give him his treat and he goes in. Now I'm trying, I need to start teaching him to get in his house first, then I'll give him his treat. Get in there. So he's doing good. He doesn't jump around. He knows to wait patiently by his crate and that he'll get his treat when he gets in his house. So he's doing really good. So now I'm gonna go clean my floors and clean up the living room because they don't want to be outside because it's hot and I don't blame them. So he's doing really good with his crate training. Look guys, I was just looking at my um, Kroger ad down here in the corner. Knew it Kroger, blue buffalo dog and cat food. Now I'm sure they're not going to have their whole variety and selection of dog and cat food. It's probably going to be a limited supply, but just thought I'd pass that along. So now Meyer and Kroger are selling the blue buffalo. So there you go. Just an FYI. And look at these guys over here. <laughs> My couch is... Well, the love seat is going to have permanent um, slouching in them from the dogs laying up there. Yes. My other couch had one on this side of it from my cat. But this one, Miggy's uh, found it that it's a nice bed. Marley likes to sleep up there. Mozzie just likes to sit up there. He's so happy to have a window uh, to look out now. Like, because the last house, if you remember from my other videos, he had that window and he would sit in the cat tree for hours just staring at the day going by, watching everything. So he's happy to have a window to look out again. But I think in my couch, my love seat's going to take a beating. And this couch is um, uh, blue. You can't really tell in the lighting. It does sometimes have a hint of gray, but it's a blue color. Uh, for those, some couple people were wondering what color it was. So, it is a blue color, even though it doesn't look like it in my camera. There's Max over there. He's still tired from the vet. <laughs> All his anxiety from going. It looks like Magnum's going to take a nap too. Magnum, are you going to take a nap? Huh? You going to take a nap too? Are you going to take a nap too? Yeah. A lot of people have noticed that in some of my pictures, he looks like he has brown in them. He does have like a, in certain light, like a hint of brown throughout his uh, hair. So I'm wondering when he gets older, if he's going to have some, the other dogs all turned real light silver. I wonder if he's going to get some uh, brown to him. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? I think he's still mad about getting shots, too. He's got to go back in a couple weeks for his uh, second rabies shot, too. So, yeah, you got to go back. So, three dogs got to go back the 21st, and then he's got to go back in a couple weeks. So, yeah, I'm sure the vet, vet loves us. He could probably put a second wing onto his uh, <laughs> veterinary clinic and call it the feral wing. <laughs> Anyways. Just wanted to share the uh, Blue Buffalo at Kroger. Well, we just got back from the vet for the second time because this little one had a reaction to his vaccinations. Didn't you, Magnum? You looking at the kitty? Anyway, so he had to be put on an IV with a steroid and anti-inflammatory. He just started acting weird and if you just barely touched him, he, was, he would screech. Um, his ears were back, he was shaking, um, he didn't want his dental treat, and he always wants his dental treat, any treat, so I always know if any of my dogs won't eat something, something's wrong with them. So, we just got back, oh, here comes my husband, hold on. Okay, it's a couple hours later, sorry, uh, well, I guess you don't know it was a couple hours later, but... He did not have an IV. He had two shots. They got him right in, gave him two shots. Um, an anti-inflammatory, which is basically like Benadryl, and then a uh, steroid. So I have to give him, sorry it's dark guys, it's late. Um, I have to give him this, so oh, that's not it. I have too many dog bottles, dog pill bottles. 
Um, prednisone, the steroid, to start that tomorrow because they already gave him a shot. Um, and then he has to get a, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. He's got to get a, a half of a Benadryl, 25 milligram. So half of that. So got to give him that for the next couple days. And I don't know, I may be repeating myself guys. I can't remember, but he, um, had some inflammation. We, um, when we'd pick him up, I mean, we would just touch him anywhere. He was, he was, uh, not crying, but kind of crying when you touch him. Um, he growled us when we go to touch him. Uh, and then he wasn't eating his treat. He just had his ears back constantly. I could just tell something was wrong with him. You just know, just like when you have kids, you just know when something's wrong. <laughs> so I'm glad my husband got him in. He got there about 15 minutes before they closed and, um, and he's doing a lot better. So I'm gonna end the video here because I am tired and it's been a long day. It's a long day, even when there's not, um, issues going on in this house just from regular you know family life and then with five dogs there's a lot sorry it's dark in here let me turn the light on oh that's not the light that's the pan so we are going to it's almost nine o'clock i'm going to get a couple loads of laundry done and then we're gonna go to bed aren't we max yes we're gonna go to bed because we're tired aren't we these guys are tired look now he's playing no, that medicine's kicked in. He's feeling better. They think it's playtime. It's not playtime. No. It's time to settle down. He's got he's got that pacifier toy in his mouth. Well, I guess it's gonna be playtime for a while. That's okay. Cause I got about an hour before I can put him to bed. Cause I gotta do some laundry. So, anyways, I hope this. Uh, I don't even know really. I can't even remember what I recorded. So. I hope this uh, this video is entertaining <laughs> and maybe you learned something from it. I don't know. Let me know. Bye.